Welcome to the Planisware Enterprise for PSA Demo Series. Episode 1 will focus on the intake process. Michael and Joe are working to build a proposal estimate for a new opportunity. Hey, Michael. We have a very exciting opportunity in the pipeline, and I need your input to create a winning proposal. Can we go over the resource plan together to ensure we have the right skills and resources for a successful outcome? Absolutely. Just a heads up, let's be a bit cautious uh, with the data input. We've had some typos in the past causing issues and impacting our forecast. No worries at all. We have now automated the bi-directional communication with our CRM Salesforce. This effortlessly fetches all the necessary information, eliminating any room for typos. Fantastic news. We're making progress. All right, let's dive into this opportunity and make it a success. This is the starting plan for all new implementations. Um, we know this is going to be a, a complex project, so I'm going to add some buffer to the planning phase. Hmm. I don't see a BI integration in the plan like we typically have for new implementations. Is this in scope? Yes, it is. Uh, we have activity libraries, which lay out all the services we can tack onto the contract. You can just grab the relevant work packages, slot them in and tailor them if necessary. Saves us from starting everything from scratch every time. The best part is it comes with resource forecasts, documents, and any other estimates we can standardize. That's going to save us a lot of work. But considering this is an agile project, won't we need a separate project for the waterfall work? Not anymore. Planswear supports hybrid uh, project management. We can run projects in agile, waterfall, or seamlessly blend both in a single project. Now, let's quickly assign some resources. We can start by doing some benchmarking and create resource demand using algorithms that are based on historical data. You mean the system tells you the resources you need? Exactly. Planisware will create a set of resource demand that is tied to the unique requirements and specifications of the project, providing a more tailored approach. Uh, we can then fine tune it as needed. That's awesome. Sounds like a huge time saver. Yes. Uh, and this initial resource plan looks good. We will also need an architect. So let's add that. Hmm. Which BI tool is in scope for the integration? Power BI. Why? We've got some resources with Power BI skills, so it might be a smart move to allocate them to this project. Just be sure to mention that skill in the request. Excellent suggestion. All right, the resource plan is set. Now let's dive into the overall pricing to see how it's shaping up. Here's the estimate breakdown total price and expected margins based on the rates from the billing office. Looks good, Joe. Considering the complexity, how about adding 15 more hours to the trainer role? It ensures we're well prepared for any special requirements like documentation or additional support needed. Good call. We want to ensure top service. Great. Now let's check our resource capacity. Our current capacity doesn't allow us to fulfill all the opportunities. If we were to win all opportunities today, it would put us in a difficult situation. Is this bottleneck specific to one role or does it apply to multiple roles? Well, if we break it down by role, we immediately see bottlenecks in the solutions architects group. Yes. Looks like we have a busy quarter coming up for that team. Let's dig into where this demand is coming from. Yes, well, it looks like we're over capacity with this new op in the picture. We're about opportunity P13. I believe it's a lower priority and we haven't committed any resources yet. Could we ask Jen to push it to key two? That's a good point. But we don't need to ask Jen now that we have Planisware. We can simulate the new timeline without changing any of her estimates. First thing, let's like lock any ongoing projects since we know we cannot move those. Now let's push P13 to Q2. Looks like this creates a, a smaller bottleneck in Q2, approximately 281 hours. Yes, however, we have new architects that will begin onboarding next month and will be ready by Q2. If we add their capacity, we remove any bottleneck issues. Assigning the new hires in Q2 tackle the, the bottleneck seems like a practical move. Let's go ahead with that. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our next episode to see how Joe and Michael work together to generate a proposal and find the best resource plan to staff the new opportunity. For any questions, reach us directly on our website at planisware.com. We hope to catch you on our next episode soon.